So one day we decided to leave Gatlinburg and go through the Smoky Mountains over to a town called Cherokee, North Carolina. As it turns out, Cherokee turned out to be our favorite day of this entire vacation. Standing here in Cherokee, North Carolina, if you get a chance to bring your family here, kids love this place. They have actual Native American for the Cherokee tribe Indians here, and they're all dressed up in uh, periodic clothing like they wore, you know, in the 16, 1700s. Really, really a neat place for the uh, children to see. The road between Cherokee and Gatlinburg through the mountains, it's a gorgeous drive. And before we get started, could you please take just a second and hit that subscribe button as it will keep you up to date with all my future postings. They have a play that they do called Unto These Hills, which is actually up at the top of a mountain, and it's an outdoor amphitheater, and every performer in the play is Cherokee. Really, really cool thing. Uh, it's all about their uh, trail of tears when they march the Cherokee out of here, when the soldiers round them up and walk them marching from Cherokee, North Carolina to Oklahoma, and about all those that uh, died along the way and what they experienced and the hardship and everything. Really, really interesting story about the history here. This is my friend Killing Bear of the Cherokee Nation. Uh, he explained that the Cherokee have been in this area over 11,000 years, at one time covering uh, territory in eight states where their tribe was. So very, very large area, but it's really interesting to come here. The history is amazing, and folks like Killing Bear here can tell you all about it. So come on down and take a look. It's cool to see. If you're liking this video, could you please give it a thumbs up or maybe leave a comment? And also, please remember to hit that subscribe button so that you'll stay up to date with all my future postings. So in the town, they had all these different shops and stores. Uh, if anybody in your family is a shopper, they're going to have a big day. Because <laughs> there was all these like Indian trinkets and handmade stuff uh, that was all Native American. So it was, it was actually really pretty cool. Hello. And so they had this bear park also in the town. Uh, so my son was very, very excited. Uh, so we decided to take him up to see the, uh, I think it was called Chief Sanook Bear Park. Uh, so he was running in there. <laughs> so he was very excited to see there. But the bears inside were really, really friendly. So that was kind of nice because they were, uh, you could actually feed them. And they were really, really um, just, it was very enjoyable for them. But it is a, it's just a beautiful place here. The mountains are gorgeous. Uh, the streams, the rivers, I mean, everything is just really pretty. And when I said it was beautiful here, I wasn't kidding. I mean, if you can see behind me, it is, it's one of the prettiest places I know of on the East Coast. We have condos nearby here. We can put you in anywhere from $2.99 a week up to maybe $5 or $6.99 a week, depending on how many people you're taking in the time of year. But it is definitely worth the trip down here. It's one of the prettiest places on the Eastern Seaboard of the United States. So as you can probably see behind me, you might want to come take a look. It's really nice here.